Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about a new book which I read. It is called The Secret Life of Organizations. And I'm going to give you three reasons which I think are fabulous things that you will get out of this book. It's written by Shalini Lal and Pradya Parashar. And one of the first things that struck me about the book was that it's a terrific one for somebody who's actually getting into the first job. If you are making the transition from being in college and then getting on to your first job, this is probably a very significant uh, time to ask a lot of questions. What kind of an organization really works well for you? And the answer to that lies in the kind of organizational culture. So the very first thing that uh, which I marked out was, you know, that you must focus on that chapter which talks about what is it about the organization that people can see very readily and figure out and what is it that they can't. And the organizational culture is an important segment to think about because it is really like saying the soil conditions in which a lily can bloom is very different from the one in which you expect to grow a rose or a cactus. Every one of the flowers actually needs a different kind of a soil condition. Think about that soil condition as the culture in which you can thrive. So really, which one is going to let you thrive is an important segment. Oh. The second thing that I liked a lot in this book was this whole chapter which they talk about on power and politics. Now, in organizations, when people join for the first time, they're inevitably dismayed about the level of politics and it is nothing to get worried about. And neither should you feel that if you change jobs, you will get into an organization where there is no politics. There's no such thing. Wherever there are scarce resources, and, and you know whether it is time, whether it's money, whether it's any other resource that people are competing for, there is going to be the method of influence. And so politics is just a name which has got a bad press, but it's about the way in which people compete with each other for resources. So that's really politics. And the book actually tells you, how do you deal with that? Because how do you deal with a scenario when you are not getting along with your boss or you're not getting along with your teammates or there's a particular colleague who's giving you grief? Then this is a great chapter for you to read. The third segment, which I liked a lot in this book and probably my favorite segment, which is really what uh, it comes to at the end, which talks about know thyself. So until you know yourself, knowing something about the organization's culture is not going to help you make that wise choice. So the segment, which is really around, you know, what are your motivators? What are the kind of things that could be your potential derailers is a terrific one to read and probably uh, the one that I recommend the most that you might want to really start thinking about many of those questions. The other thing that I liked about the book was it's got these little nuggets of things that are relevant, but it's not put there. So, you know, uh, don't worry about something like this. Take a look at this. Go and talk to somebody. So everything about the book made me feel that I wish this is the book that I had read when I started my first job. And throughout my career, I've made a whole lot of mistakes, a whole lot of mistakes. And if I'd read a book like this, uh, then I think I would have made much lesser number of mistakes. I would have still made mistakes. I can tell you that about myself. But, uh, you know, I also think that having a mentor in the organization sometimes is a great way to, uh, you know, get your bearings right. And the segment also talks about that. So a lot of questions which you will find really terrific. I liked it and I highly recommend that you read it. If you like this particular kind of a book review, let me know. I will put out some more because there are plenty of good books that I think you would benefit from. I will also put a little summary which I think you can find useful. It's there on my website. And if you like, follow me on LinkedIn at Abhijit Badhuri. Till the next time, see you.